this video, we are going to find the shortest distance between the vertex P and Q using the Dijkstra's algorithm. In the previous video, I have explained the full procedure how to evaluate the shortest distance between any two vertices using this algorithm. Let's explore the same algorithm with the help of this diagram. So first, we will take the source vertex out of these two one. Let's take P as a source vertex. So we will log this vertex. And after locking this one, current now the cost is zero, and at the same time, the cost for the rest of vertices is infinity. After that, find the adjacent vertices of the source one. So that is A and D. Now calculate the cost when you are starting from the vertex P and visiting to the adjacent vertices. So in case you are starting from the vertex P and moving towards the A, the total cost is three. Update this cost. So it is a three, and we are coming from the vertex P. Out of these two one, we need to take the minimum one. So minimum is three rather than infinity. So we will discard the previous cost. Even we can move to the vertex D. In that case, the cost is four, and we are coming from the vertex P. So again, take the minimum out of these two one. That is the four. So discard the largest cost. Now, next step, out of the unvisited vertices, we will take the minimum cost vertex. So, right now the minimum cost is three out of all other vertices. Therefore, we will log the next vertex as A. Now, from the A, we can move to the vertex B as well as D because right now D is not the logged vertex. Now, from the vertex A to B, the total cost is three plus two, that is the five. Also mention the path. In this case, we have followed the path P to A, and we have visited at the vertex B. Keep the minimum out of these two one and discard the largest one. So minimum is five. Therefore, we have discarded the previous cost infinity. From A, we can also move to the vertex D. In that case, the cost will be three plus two, that is the five, through the path P to A. In order to visit at the vertex, now out of these two one, minimum cost is four, so it means we will discard the largest cost. Next step, we will take the minimum cost over the unvisited vertices, and the cost corresponding to unvisited vertices are four, five, and the rest one is carrying infinity. So minimum out of these one is four. It means we will log the vertex D in the next step. Once you log the vertex D, find the adjacent unvisited vertices, that is B and E. And when you are moving toward the vertex B, there is a cost six over this edge. Now, in that case, the total cost will be four plus six, that is ten. Path is P to D, and then we are directly moving to vertex B. So now it indicates that. The cost is ten when you are moving through the path P to D, D to B, and the cost is five when you are moving from the path P to A, A to B. But we need the shortest distance, so we will keep five cost over the vertex B rather than a ten. We can also move to the vertex E from the D. So in that case, four plus three, seven, and the path is P to D. And we have moved to the vertex E. So out of these two, the minimum is seven. So we will discard infinity. Now there are five unlogged vertices. So we need to log the one vertex out of these one. For that, we need to take the minimum cost. So the minimum cost is corresponding to the vertex B. So next, we are going to log the vertex B in this case. Now from B, we can visit to the vertex C, F, E. Update the cost of these three vertices with the help of B. From B to C, the cost will be five plus A, that is thirteen, and the path is P to A, and we are coming from the vertex B. Out of these two one, keep the minimum one. From B to F, the total cost will be five plus six, that is the eleven. And the path is P to A, A to B. 
keep the minimum out of these two one that is the 11 we can also move to the vertex e in that case the cost will be 5 plus 1 6 and the path is p to a a to b now from here we will keep the minimum cost that is the 6 rather than a 7 next from these four vertices we need to take the one vertex with the minimum cost and that is the vertex c and in this case we have a cost 6 so we are going to log the vertex e so from e we can either visit to the vertex c or f because they are unlogged vertices so when you are moving towards c vertex from e in that case the cost is 6 plus 2 that is the 8 and we are going through the path p to a a to b p to e now out of these two we will keep the minimum cost that is the 8 Suppose over the edge E to F the cost is 4 and if you are moving from the vertex E to F then the total cost will be 6 plus 4 that is the 10 and the path is P to A, A to B, B to E. So out of these two the minimum is a 10 cost so we will discard this path and we will follow this path P to A, A to B, B to E to reach at a vertex F and in that case the cost is 10. Out of these three vertices the minimum cost is over the vertex C. So we are going to log the vertex C in the next step. From C we can either visit to the vertex Q or F and in case you are visiting at Q in that case the total cost is 10. And the path is P to A, A to B, B to E, E to C. So out of these two one we will keep the minimum that is the 10. We can also move to the vertex F. In that case the cost is 8 plus 1, 9. And the path is P to A, A to B, B to E. So keep the minimum cost from here that is the 9 so discard this one. So now we have left two vertices one is F and another is Q. Although we have reached at the vertex Q in that case the weight is 10. But still we need to find whether there exists any other path that cost is then 10. So for that we need to follow the same procedure for these two vertices. So for F vertex the cost is minimum as compared to Q. So definitely we are going to take the next vertex as a F. So in this case we have a cost 9 and if you are moving towards the vertex Q then total cost will be 9 plus 2 that is the 11. And the path is P to A, A to B, B to E, P to F to reach the vertex Q. From these two one the minimum cost is 10. So it means now we are not going to update this cost for the vertex Q. From here we can conclude that the shortest distance between a vertex P and Q is 10 using the path P to A, then A to B, B to E, E to C, C to Q. With this path, the total cost we are getting as a 10 and that is the minimum from the all other paths to reach at a vortex queue from P.